in this video, I'll show you when a fixed duration task is truly not fixed duration. Oh man, this is a painful video for me to make. Most people wrongly assume that on a fixed duration task, the duration can never change. Folks, nothing could be further from the truth. In fact, last week I had a phone conference with a fellow project manager in Alabama who told me that his client is currently going crazy trying to use fixed duration tasks in a project online environment where they're using the timesheets to capture task progress. He said, Dale, the durations are jumping all over the place, and that is not what we wanted to happen. So in this video, I'll show you a series of situations in which the duration must change on a fixed duration task. As painful as it might be, let's get started. There are a number of situations in which Microsoft Project can change the duration of a fixed duration task. Here are six of those situations. 1. You add non-working time to a resource calendar for a resource that is assigned to a fixed duration task. 2. You enter an actual finish date that is later than the current finish date of a fixed duration task. 3. You increase the remaining duration of a fixed duration task. 4. Multiple resources are assigned to a fixed duration task, but they do not all begin their actual work on the same day. 5. You enter an early actual start date on a fixed duration task, which also has a finish no earlier than constraint applied to it. That's an unusual one. And 6. You reschedule incomplete work from the past into the current reporting period for one or more fixed duration tasks. I'll now show you how each of these scenarios impacts the duration of a fixed duration task. Our first scenario is when you add non-working time to a resource calendar. To demonstrate this, I'll double-click the name Sarah Baker in the task form pane, and then I'll click the Change Working Time button. On her calendar, I'll scroll to the month during which she's requesting PTO, and I'll mark the dates. That's March 6th through the 10th. And in the Exceptions grid, I'll type in that this is PTO and click the OK button. Notice that Microsoft Project displays the warning dialog that tells us the duration of this fixed duration task will change. So I need to click the OK button and then click OK again. Notice that Microsoft Project has changed the duration of this fixed duration task from 10 days to 15 days in response. Our second scenario is when you enter an actual finish date that is later than the current finish date. To demonstrate this, I'm going to switch the bottom pane view to a custom task progress tracking view that allows me to track simple progress at the task level. I can track actual start, percent complete, remaining duration, and actual finish. So for this task, the team member assigned did start on the 27th as planned, but he reported an actual finish date that is two days later, not March the 1st, but March the 3rd. When I enter that actual finish date, notice again Microsoft Project displays the warning dialog that the duration of this fixed duration task will change. When I click the OK button, 
Notice the duration of this fixed duration task has changed from three days to five days. Our next scenario is when you increase the remaining duration of a task. So I'll go ahead and select the Design C task, and let's put some progress in. The team member reported that he was able to start work on the 27th as planned. He indicated that he did finish 50% of the work as planned, but Dave expressed concern that he does not believe he'll be able to finish in five days and has requested an extension of two additional days. So if I increase the remaining duration to seven days, notice that Microsoft Project does not display a warning dialog this time, but do notice that it did change the duration of this fixed duration task from 10 days to 12 days. Our next scenario is when we have multiple resources assigned to the task, but they don't all start on the same day. To demonstrate this scenario, I'll switch the bottom pane view to a more advanced version of task progress tracking that will allow me to enter progress at the resource assignment level. So on task D, Jessica reported that she was able to start on the 27th as planned, and she indicated that she was able to finish half of the work as planned. Steve, on the other hand, due to commitments in another project, was not able to start on the 27th. He wasn't able to get started until March the 1st. When I select March the 1st for the actual start date for Steve, Notice that Microsoft Project once again displays the warning dialog. So I'll click the OK button, and now I'll put in that Steve only completed 25% of the work that he was expected to do. Notice that Microsoft Project changed the duration of this fixed duration task from 10 days to 12 days. The next scenario is an unusual one. This is when you have an early actual start date on a fixed duration task that includes a finish no earlier than constraint. If I float my mouse pointer over the indicator for this task, you can see clearly it has a finish no earlier than constraint of March 17th. That means the task cannot finish any earlier than March 17th. To demonstrate this, I'll go ahead and switch back to the simple method of task progress tracking. Barb reported on this task that she got an early actual start. She was supposed to start on Monday, March the 6th, but she was actually able to get started early on Friday, March the 3rd. When I enter March the 3rd as her actual start date, Notice once again, Microsoft Project displays the confirmation or warning dialog. So I'll go ahead and click the OK button, and I'll put in a little bit of progress for her, let's say 10%. So why did Microsoft Project increase the duration from 10 days to 11 days on this fixed duration task? It's because the task is not allowed to finish earlier than Friday, March 17th. And when she started one day earlier, you have the original 10 days of duration plus the additional one day of early progress. So Microsoft Project increased the duration from 10 days to 11 days on this unusual fixed duration task. Our final scenario is when you reschedule incomplete work from the past into the current reporting period for a fixed duration task. So I'll go ahead and select the task design F, and I'll put in actual start date of the 27th, but the percent complete is only 25%, which is less than expected for this task. At this point, I'm now ready to reschedule incomplete work from the past into the current reporting period. 
To do that, I'll click the Project tab to display the project ribbon. I'll click the Update Project button. In the Update Project dialog, I'll reschedule uncompleted work to start after March the 3rd. By the way, that's the status date for the project. I'll choose the Selected Tasks option, and I'll click the OK button. Notice that Microsoft Project does not display a warning dialog for this scenario, but do notice that it changed the duration of this fixed duration task from 10 days to 12.5 days. So there are the six scenarios that can cause the duration to change on a fixed duration task. So there you have it. The painful truth that sometimes the duration must change on a fixed duration task. I sure hope you found this video to be beneficial. If it was, please give it a like. Consider subscribing to my channel. And if you do, remember to click the notification button as well. If you have questions about this video, please leave your questions in the comment section below. I do my very best to answer every question that users ask of me. And as always, I'll see you in my next video.